Hello and welcome back to IXL Tutorials. This is Mr. Duffick and today we are doing IXL K5 which is really just a review of IXL's K1 and K3. K1 was just SSS uh, and SAS, K3 was ASA and AAS and so IXL K5 is just combining all four of those. They're going to give you a series of diagrams uh, with at least two triangles in them, two congruent triangles, and you have to determine uh, how they can be proven with one of the four uh, theorems or if they could even be proven at all. So we'll look here and we'll see that uh, we see a tick mark here across these two sides, so congruent, followed by an angle here, one ring there, one ring there, so those are going to be congruent, followed by this side here that they both share, and if they both share it, then it has to be congruent, right? So we have side followed by an angle, followed by another side. So that's side, angle, side. Okay, which rule explains why these triangles are congruent. So we'll see here, and we're not given any other information aside from the diagram with the various markings. So we see we have an angle here, we have a side here, and then we have uh, another side that is shared. Um, and do we have anything else? We don't know for sure about these two sides here. We just know about this one and these two. And we only know about these two angles. We don't know about these two. We don't know about these two. Okay, so is there something that matches with an S, S, A? Uh, there is not, right? There is side, angle, side, but the angle's outside of the two sides, so that can't work. That doesn't make any sense. Okay, so and then if we had side, 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 that would work, but we cannot confirm that these two sides are going to be the same. Okay. Which rule explains why these triangles are congruent? Okay, we have a side, angle, side, or side, angle, side. That was pretty easy, right? Tick marks are all there, ring values are still there. Okay, side, angle, side. Okay, um, we only know the three angles here, and that's it. We don't know anything about the sides. I mean, the angles all match up. They uh, all seem to be the same or congruent, right? One, one. 2, 2, and 3, 3, but we don't know anything about the sides. I mean, this for this uh, shape right here can be a dilated version of this shape for all we know. We can't prove anything unless it's given to us. So there's no angle, 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 or angle, angle here. We need at least one side for these four theorems, so they cannot be proven congruent. Okay, so you get the idea. It's just going to be a series of problems um, involving the theorems right here. So we are going to jump, jump again. Actually, let me go back down here. What was that? Yes or no. Can you conclude that these triangles are congruent? Okay, so when you get to a certain level, uh, they don't give you any of the options. You just basically have to come up with some. Um, so right here, we have uh, three angles again, just pretty much the same problem as last time. We don't know anything about the sides. And what's cool is you have all four of the uh, theorems up here for your reference just in case you needed them. So is SSS going to work? No. Side angle side? No. Angle side angle? No. Or angle angle side? No. Because again we don't know any of the uh, sides there. They're just angles. So that's going to be a no. Okay. So you get the idea. So we're going to jump. Okay. And once you get, get to the end there, um, just a review of yeah, basically the same kind of problems you'll see in K1 and K2. They give you, or I'm sorry, K3. They give you three uh, triangles. You have to decide which two are congruent, and then you write out the statements. So uh, look for the tick marks. See one tick mark, one tick mark, one tick mark, two, no two, and two. Okay, so this one's the odd man out. So these two, the first and the third triangles are going to be congruent because we have one tick mark, one tick mark, two tick mark, two tick mark, and then four tick mark, four tick mark which is side, side, side. Not that it matters because all you have to do is identify which two are congruent and then write out the statement. So I'll start with the corner between one and two, which is A. Over here, the corner between one and two is gonna be T, so T. And then I'll slide uh, down the two tick mark 
and then I'm going to slide down the two tick mark and get to S. So over here it's going to be B, over here it's going to be S. And then we're going to finish with C, going up the four. So C, and then up the four to R. Perfect. Okay, so that is where I'm going to stop. Study hard, stay safe, and I'll catch you on the next IXL tutorial. Goodbye.